Happy 2024. Welcome to the Totally Designs channel. If you like to create, you like to grow, you like to know, or you simply just want to come and hang out, go ahead and press that like and subscribe button along with that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I go live or upload a brand new video. Now, I hope you enjoy today's video. Hey YouTube family, it's Kesa from Totally Designs and today I'm going to be doing a painting video. I'm going to be painting these beautiful African continent blank wood hoop earrings. Now these I think are so fun to work with and so I'm just coming on video to show you some of the things that I, I do with them. Now, you can do all kinds of things with these guys. You don't have to just paint them. You can, you know, put fabric on them. You can um, put rhinestones on them. You can do all sorts of fun things with these projects. Now, Black History Month is coming next month and it'll literally be here in a matter of days, right? So these will do very well um, for Black History Month. Now you can also do writing on these. Um, you can write any type of um, messaging on here. There's all sorts of things that you can do with these earrings. Today, I'm just gonna be painting them. Maybe I'll do a video you know, um, putting fabric or adding some other stuff on there. Now, I'm just going to simply um, prep them. Now, I do several things when I'm making these. I paint them, and then once I paint them, I put rhinestones on them, and then I go over them with the resin. All right. So, this might be a two-part but tonight I'm just going to start painting. And you know, painting is really, really, really very therapeutic. Um, and I don't just do this because it's therapy. I do it because I love it, but the caveat of it is that I get some therapeutic <laughs> results, um, like calmness and you know, I'm able to be still or quiet. It helps me quiet my mind. Um, so I just started off with this little paintbrush. Now I am using a thinner paintbrush. You can use a thicker paintbrush. You can use whatever size you want. And you can also paint with these as well. Now this is a makeup um, sponge. This is what you would use to put your foundation um, and to um, get that foundation blended into your skin but you can also use them on uh, painting projects like this now if you didn't know that you learned something new so basically what I'm doing is I am creating um, a pattern here and I am making um, like a division in the lines and I'll tell you what I'm um, talking about what I'm doing is I'm going to try to paint this like maybe two or three colors so what I did was start off at the top and normally what I do is just do a little bit of a line um, so that I can move on to the next color I like this color this blue is popping y'all this blue is really really popping so I'm going to try out another color. I'm not sure. I might want to use a green. I used green before. Um, I think what I'll do this time, I'll use a, um, a red. Okay, so I'm going to use red. And you could just put your paint in something like that. Or you can put it, you know, on your paper towel, whatever. Or you can have a little bowl. It's quite okay. And this is a little bit stuck. Oh, there it is. Okay, there you are. Had to open it up a little bit. Now, guys, I would suggest that you keep lots of wipes near you because painting gets a little bit messy. So I'm just going to take that little paint right there. And then I'm going to add it on here. Now, what I love about these little thin brushes is you can get in there. You can get really in there. Okay. So the unique thing about um, these particular uh, planks is that you can make it any color you want. 
it's about self uh, self expression. You can express yourself through painting. Now I love this. So here we are. That's beautiful. Now what I could do is I can either paint down a little bit more, which I think I will, and then I can add in another color. Now I can go back over the bottom color with that blue if I chose to, okay? And I think I am gonna use the blue color. I think I'm gonna um, go ahead and add in that blue back down there. Now this is just like a sample one I'm doing. Oh, that's neat, y'all. And I know a lot of people may think, oh, I can't paint. Yeah, you can paint. Anybody can paint. I'm not saying you're gonna be an artist or anything, but you can't paint. <laughs> like anybody can color. Now, whether it comes out beautiful or not, I don't know. I, I won't uh, swear to that okay so i'm just adding a little bit more now the wonderful thing about this is is that you don't have to apply a whole bunch um you can make it darker if you want okay so this is how it's starting off so far so i'm just doing like one coat right now and if i need to i'll do another coat but I'll let it dry. Now, the wonderful thing about this paint is it, dry fair, it, it dries fairly fast, okay? All right. Now, we'll be adding some of these to my website pretty soon. So if you are interested in going and purchasing them, you may. And I will do like a little announcement saying, hey, oh, they're ready. Okay, so now I am done with that portion of it. So now what I'm gonna do is decide on what do I want the outer to be? Now I can do um, a combination. I can do that blue and the red or I can just do the blue or I can just do the red um, But I think I want to do a combination of both because I like both colors and um, so I'm just gonna go and start Okay, and so where you decide to split up the colors on here is simply up to you Um, it's really up to you. All right. So I'm just gonna wipe the remaining of that paint off. You can either use water to clean it off or you can just take a basic um, paper towel and wipe it off. Now I'm gonna um, put some of that blue on there. And what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna split it. Here we go. Oh, that's gorgeous. really gorgeous okay so now I'm going to take the remaining part of this and I'll show it to you in just one moment and you can see what it looks like for yourself okay there we go. And so this part is almost dry, 
but what you can do if you're still painting you can take this part another brush and you can just simply do that to hold it down so your hand does not have to touch it Okay, I'm just going to touch up right here where it needs a little bit of a touch up. And you can go back and touch it up. Okay, and I'm going to pull it up for you so you can see it. And look how beautiful that is. Isn't that beautiful? That color is everything. So this is that blue and that red. So in the next video, what I'll do is I'll probably start adding the rhinestones on here. So this will probably be, uh, be a part two. And once this side dries, I will paint the back. And I normally just paint the back just one color, okay? So that one is done. I'll go ahead and paint the other one. Okay. This does not take very long. It takes about maybe, um, I want to say... 20 minutes because you're painting both sides I meaning not painting both sides but you're painting uh, both pairs and then you got to give it time to dry which I will not do on video I won't sit here and wait for it to dry and then let you guys see it okay as you can see I'm doing that side as well Okay, I'm adding that red in there. The first one always takes longer than the second one. I think because the first one you're trying to get the pattern down of how you're trying to, to make this work. That is really beautiful. I love that. Now with the little brushes, you have a little bit more control as uh, whereas with the um, bigger brushes, you don't. Okay. That's why I like the little brushes. You have a little bit more control. All right, that is simply gorgeous right there. Okay. Oh, that is, I love that. Okay, as you can see, I've done the second one. Now I'm going to paint around and do the same thing I did with the other one. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this side too red and then I'll fix the other one. 
and I'll add that blue in there. And as you can see, it gets faster as you um, learn to control the brush a bit. Okay, now. All right, now we're adding in that blue. Oh yes, I love that. That is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just gonna add the blue, take the blue up a little bit because it needs to be a little bit higher. Okay, now as you can see, these are done for now. This is the first half, okay? So you have both of these earrings and these are gonna be very, very beautiful. All right, until the next video, happy beating.